we are on. Hello, is anybody here? Uh, possibly, but possibly. let's just okay. let's assume that's there are. So, Good welcome. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to the UK Masters for 2019. Yeah. Excited, so, we're yep. away. Everyone turned up. Yeah, typically started on time. Um, it was an early morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very early morning. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we're, we're here, we're good. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, um, so people who don't know, I'm Nick and this is Elliot. Yeah, from the Northern Kings, as you can tell, representing in Mantic Definitely. Um, we are here for Mantic HQ, we're in Matt Gilbert's office, as you can see. It's um, yeah, this, we have this, to this, this is where ourselves. the magic happens. We have to position ourselves so you can't see anything no, yeah, conventional see behind you us. You should see what is over there. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. It's actually oh, a mammoth. There is. Ooh. And a polar it's, bear. It's not striding very far, though. No, it's not, not for long. No, not know. for long, no. I'm, I'm going to guess. <laughs> I wonder what the polar bear means. Mm. Fox's glacier unit. Possibly. That's, that's going to be a thing. Possibly, yeah. So, uh, we're, coming up, we're coming up on uh, game one at the moment. So this is game one of the UK Masters. And we have uh, Tom Robinson versus Don Steam yep. Steve Aker. Uh, they won the vote by two votes yep. to be on stream first. Um, just to let you know how we're going to be doing the table stream. Um, it's always going to be table one. However, table one is going to be sort of rotating round. So uh, you'll always see this set of terrain. Um, but it won't necessarily be the top of the Swiss rankings each time, just so that we can have a bit more variety of who we are on. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of fantastic armies here. All the players are brilliant, so we want to show all of them. Um, obviously, it's completely up to each player if they want to be on stream. Uh, some might not want to be. Um, and if they want to come grab us, that's absolutely fine as well. They can be on. Um, yeah, we, we're, as you can tell, we're kind of filling for time, isn't it? As the, um, so uh, I'm, I'm just... Checking on Facebook and for everybody to make sure that the stream is working fine. Yeah, we're okay, we're okay. proceeding with the assumption that it is. Yeah. Um, we, we do have the Twitch chat here, so anybody that's on Twitch can can have a look if you can see us. Um, yeah. You can chat, you can ask questions. They are only next door, they can't hear us, which is great, so we can we can talk freely. Yeah. Uh, but we can run around, check on things, um, ask yeah. the point more. Yeah. Things like that. Uh, but do ask us questions as we go along. Uh, it can be about the Masters in general, it can be about this game in particular. Mm -hmm. um, it can be about us, if you feel so inclined. Yeah. God, God forbid. Um, but yeah. We, we... So they've still started uh, setting up yet, so yeah. I guess it's a little more decision. Apparently we've got we have, we have 15, 15 people. 15 people. I'm very sorry Ooh. for tuning in to see our faces so far. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, we're starting soon. Shall we go over and we can see the turn in the box? Well, yeah, let's, let's about... have a quick look at the board, shall we? So, this is the board. Um, probably should say we're playing mid for the first yes, scenario. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, the objective for this match is to get units across to the other half of the game board. Um, so, the big features on the board that you can see, you've got two hills and one big in the hill. big hills. One in the top left, one in the bottom right. Tom is going to like that, I think. Yeah. Uh, you've got a big block of impassable terrain in the bottom left, and then uh, forest in the centre and up right. And... Tom's going to like that. He's got the building and the forest blocking lines of sight there. I mean, you've still got a good command over the board, <laughs> um, but you've not got unlimited. That building will help. Uh, it will. Well, having the forest over, you know, it's it's a good. I'm assuming they've already rolled the table sides, seeing as Tom sat there. Well, they're doing a dice roll now. Yeah. That might be table sides. We might be uh, about to see a switch. Um, all of the lists are available through the Dropbox link on our Northern Kings page. We will sort of mention it as we go through what's in each. We won't go into mm -hmm. huge detail, uh, but there is a sorry, a Google Drive. Of all the lists. Yes. Ever. There's also a wonderful video you can have on in the background. <laughs> Nick and I going through all of the um, all of the lists. Oh, yeah, we have comments. Good morning to you two. You can't read the name. I'm, fr I'm afraid I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a name and Wal and Warrell Deer. Good morning to you guys. Um, yeah, so it might be useful for us to talk through the basic gist of the list, I think. Yeah, definitely. Where do uh, I start? Well, let's start with Tom's lovely list. Yeah. Um, this is an elf elf bow line. 
Although he probably claims otherwise, doesn't he? Um, we were looking the way down, weren't we? Of what class is a gun line? Is it if you've got more more points in shooting than you do combat? Mm -hmm. um, this actually annoyingly comes out quite balanced, but it just doesn't feel <laughs> it doesn't feel like you're up against it. Um, it. It's a very very good list. It I, is. I've yes. played against us a lot of times. Um, and Tom's very good at using it. They are swapping sides. They are swapping sides. Interesting. Mm. I, that's the well. I'm assuming that was Dom's choice. It was the right choice. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think. Well, Tom does get a hill possibly in his deployment zone there. Although the <laughs> yeah. line of sight would be yeah. fairly blocked from that side, wouldn't it? it? Would. Cause it's the forest and the um, impassable terrain there. So yeah, that's that. Yeah. Probably not a good place for him to set up his archers, is it? So just just going to the list, Tom has the Kindred Archer Horde with the Seeking Chant for piercing. Uh, he's got the Sea Guard with the Wine of the Elven Kind for nimble. Um, he's got the two regiments of Forest Shamblers uh, who are just absolutely excellent for things like just having extra unit strength in the list um, for blocking, for forcing a point effectively. Uh, thing you have to deal with. Uh, he's got the Horde of Dracon Riders. Um, He's got the Dragon Breath War Machine, the Armor Standard Bearer with the Diadem of Dragonkind, uh, one Elf Mage with Bane Chant of the Black Iron Crown, so Bane Chant 3 mm -hmm. is an important bit there, but Heal 4 is nothing to sniff at either. That that can be quite decisive. And then he's got the other Elven Mage with Bane Chant 2 and Shroud of the Same, so Heal 6 with a lean. Mm. Um, Noble War Chariot for 90 points. Uh, and then because the, why not? Yeah. Then the Dragon Kindred Lord with Boots of Levitation. Yeah. 20 inch move, Elite Fire. For reasons. <laughs> horrible thing, horrible unit. I hate going against that unit. It's awful. Uh, Dom, on the other hand, has a much more infantry centric list. So he's running orcs and he's got uh, an axe horde, three troll hordes, gore rider regiment, that's his, his core units. Oh, and a great axe horde. Thank you very much, Elliot. <laughs> um, for his heroes, he's got a crutcher on slasher because orcs. Yeah. Um, then he's also got a, a Mount Crudger and a God Speaker who's got Drain Life and does God Speaker come with Fireball standard? Yes, he does, so doesn't he? Yeah. Correct as if we're wrong on that. Yeah. Um, and then he's got two Wardrums backing him, back him up, so he's got a plus two nerve on his on his infantry yeah. around the centre. And yes, I agree, that's going to be a tough game. Or I want waffles. <laughs> <laughs> and there they are. There's the anyway in Nottingham, bring the waffles. Right. I can actually see the chat now. Go ahead on my phone. Yep, so that was Dom Cho's yep. side, so he's setting up first, and that'll be a wardrum going down. So from Tom's perspective, I would be looking to set up his inventory in the centre, I think. Yeah. Personally. Um, it's gonna be interesting here because Tom can effectively hang back a little. Uh, he's not rushing up forward here, I don't feel. I know it's invaded, mm -hmm. um, but you've got speed six on those elves that can move up quite quickly. I'd be very surprised if Tom's Archer Hall, for example, comes up anything beyond turn five or even six. Well, I think turn five, obviously, to get across the board. Um, his forest shamblers here are a very useful one. He's very good at getting his shamblers up and just putting them in a very, very annoying place that can yeah. block down your whole, whole board. And that's going to be crucial again. Uh, against Dom because Dom's got so many infantry hordes. Yeah. He's going to be struggling for manoeuvrability. Definitely. Um, Dom's got a couple of units that are quite vulnerable to the elf shooting. Uh, the troll hordes and the gore riders could go down in one. Mm -hmm. um, although the trolls regen does help with that really. It does, but once they've taken the damage, even regen 5 up is not going to take it off that no. quickly. Uh, so even if it survives one round of shooting, it's probably going to go without too much fuss the next turn. Yeah. It is, of course, another round of shots. Effectively wasted if that if it that is. Um, I mean, the thing about Tom's list, he has a lot of small shots. Yeah. So the noble adds another four shots. He's got the dragon fire thrower. Um, you know, he's got those little pinging shots that can yeah. chip away with. Even the dragon for another fifteen. Yeah. You know, it's a big. Well, deal. That's, that's hardly pinging shots, but yeah. Well, yeah. But it's 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 very uh, reliable. Um, yeah, have, have those units that can just pick up one point of damage just. To force that nerve check it, it can be so crucial in, some, in, some, ga in some games the, um, the the one element of Tom's list that I sort of not appreciated until I, I played it um, a few weeks ago was the power of those two majors and mm -hmm. splitting them and what you get because you've you've got reliability and redundancy so if your bane chant 3 doesn't work yeah. you've got a bane chant 2 you've got the heal you can split between it you've got mm -hmm. so much choice of, of what you can do with the two of them 
And it's one of these things of, well, what do you do about it? Because if you're focusing on his mage, you're not focusing on everything else that's really, really kill it. And all of this by itself can do a lot of damage. So we've got someone in the chat saying that we've all gone quiet. I'm hoping that's just a temporary thing. Oh. Microphone says that we're still playing. So I'm hope yeah, please, I'm really Please tell us if we, um, if we do come back. Well, how are they, they going to hear us? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? So just while you're doing that, one thing that, that Dom does quite a lot is he's got um, cardboard cutouts of his army and he likes to place them down just to see where his units can move without actually moving them. A uh, really useful, useful thing. I really like it. I think it's, um, I think it's, a, it's a good courtesy to your opponent mm -hmm. that you're not moving things around and then putting them back in the wrong place. And it speeds up when you play on the clock, which we should point out we are here. Uh, a fairly generous time, I think, of 55 minutes. Per player, I think at Masters that, that should be fine for everybody. I don't see anyone timing out today. Um, but it, it's a really, especially when you've got the big blocks like this. That and actually, when he's got the big blocks that are two regiments, mm -hmm. it's it's more difficult sometimes to see what's going on with the unit and to pitch it in your mind. Um, so having the paper paper base there a brilliant idea, I think. Yes, we can hear you now. Cool. Oh, okay, so it's a temporary glitch. Uh, we are going through 4G for the. Uh for the internet stream, though it's Antix 4G. Yeah. Um, so coverage is a little iffy. We are showing small percentage of dropped frames, but... As long as you can hear our lovely tones, that's yes. important. Yes, yes, that's that's all that's important. Yeah. What's useful is that if it cuts down, I might speak oh, slow. Sorry. sorry. If, so if, it, if there's a bit of lag, it'll slow my speaking down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to worry about talking too quickly. So do have uh, Tom's archers take. Uh, well, I saw Seaguard. I think that Seaguard into it taken up in the centre there. Seaguard, yeah. Um, it's not deployed the the archer horde yet. No, a bit on that. Whether he Dom seems to be deploying quite far back. I'm a bit surprised at that. I think it's a mistake, personally. Um, whether he's marked out the line so Tom could possibly be in range if he gets turn one. But, also, but, it, but then, it's irrelevant because then turn two becomes your turn one and you yeah. turn further back. Um, and especially for Dom, who's the slower army. Yeah. Yeah, that, that might come back We're to We're missing something, but yeah. looking how far back he's there, I think he's measured out the 30-inch line mm -hmm. and is hiding behind that. It does look like it. But then even if you know Tom moves to to get you that, that it's, it's a minus one. It's still... Well, it's Tom Cart move. If you're more than 30, you wear six... I know, I know yeah. if you're more than 30, oh, yeah. but I mean, if, if you deployed within within 30. I personally feel this is a mistake. Um, I think in this scenario well, as well. Having the, the big axe hard on the right there, where you've got the obstacle, the hill and the building. He's going to struggle to get across that line, isn't he? I mean, actually, having the, the narrow open can work for you. Um, you can be less likely to be flanked by everything, but... It's going to be a tricky one from there, I think. I think what Dom might be surprised about here is how quickly Tom will put pressure on with the dragon and the yep. dragons. And, oh, God, holding back just gives you a free turn. It does, yeah. Um, has Dom played Tom? Tom? So Dom and Tom played um, <laughs> at the Masters two years ago, first game, um, with very similar lists, actually. I think Tom was quite new to the game at that point, um, mm -hmm. and Dom won. Um, and... Speaking to both of them afterwards of the game, it came down to unit strength that Tom physically didn't have the shots or the attacks to kill that many units. Yeah. Now that was Dom with his goblins right. and trolls. Um, Dom has less units in unit strength here and Tom has more shots. Yeah. And, but, you know, he has played before. He's played a very different list of Toms. Tom's mm -hmm. old list didn't have the speed it now does. Um, and Tom's style, I think, has changed quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, he Tom's used... all about the pressure now, isn't he? Yeah. He, uh, he used to play it a lot more like an elf gun line, whereas mm -hmm. now he really, really forces the point on you. See here, the Shamblers, I think, are an excellent choice there. Yeah, because it's you've, the now, pressure. you've now blocked that whole area off. Yeah. Um, they can just bunk out up straight to the wall. And then... Dom is... It, 
Orcs are going to chew through them eventually. Oh, absolutely. But, but you've it's got going to take a few turns. You've got the dragons, you've got the yeah. shots. Meanwhile, to, um, you've Dom's got, taking, you've got a wall, that damage. You just don't counter charge. Yeah. Um, you, you could fe quite feasibly hold that hard for two turns there. On fives. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit longer. Yeah. Um, so you're looking at what, um, seven, eight hits? Yeah. Going to three or four damage. Four damage. Yeah. So even if you do eight damage against four shambles, you know. Yeah, that, that's, that's not. fourteen. Yeah, fearless. It's not guaranteed. It's, it's far from guaranteed. Yeah, and in the meantime, you've got you know the BSB has got the diadem. You've got you've got a lot of shots. Yeah, there's be, the um, be wearing you down. What's it called? The dragon breath is deployed there behind the building, so yeah. that's going to be firing at whatever starts charging the yeah. uh, the four shambles. So it's going to be taking a lot of damage. But even if. Um, Tom decides I'm not gonna I'm just gonna ignore that horde. I'm gonna let that horde get eventually get across the middle. Yeah. It might not get across the middle. It might not, and also you, you you can't from the outset you can't decide you're gonna kill everything. No. In this you know, there's, there's so many hordes here. Tom's gonna have to be looking at it and thinking, right, I have a lot less unit strength mm -hmm. I'm going to survive and what where can I best deploy it? Now, actually at the moment, I'm not liking Tom's deployment, I must say, because Tom can just have that far left flank, his shoots and Dom doesn't. So Tom can move across totally unimpeded yeah. and be shooting the whole time. Um, so the other forest shamblers, they can essentially... They can they're, they're free, the they're free. Yeah, points. well they are. They can move into the trees, they can come across so they're putting pressure on the left of his middle. Mm -hmm. The gore riders are going to have to go into the trees to deal with them. Yeah. Or if not, you've then got them in the flank of your trolls, or you've got free victory points. As yeah. you say, you just... Wander across the board and, and you're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it could be worse. Could say you've got the, you know, I've, I've definitely got the face. <laughs> I've, I've got the face for radio, I've been told. <laughs> told many times. The, the body for radio. So is that, is that Don deploying his uh, crudger on the. Bottom left, or is that something else that's Ooh, there? No, interesting, it might be. So the, the crudge is an interesting one. Yeah? Okay, so he's got that going down, flying down the flank at least. Yeah. But no, I feel the, dra the dragons are going to lock it down. The dragons could be locking it down. The archer hard is still to go down, and I still wouldn't be surprised to see the archer hard go there. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you, you've got three victory points if that gets across the board. Plus, also, I mean, Dom's a very good player, may not fall for it, but. That Dracon Horde is a big, tempting thing to charge. Yeah. It's a trap. Yeah, absolutely. That. There is so much stuff that's going to mob your yep. uh, unit. But well, actually, the, the, the Dracons versus a Dracon, the Dracons are going to win. Dracons win. Even if in, the Dracon the front, gets the first charge. Yeah, dra Dracons win. The Brewer Strength Dracons there will win yeah. every time. And there's two big Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the key thing with that with those Dracons, is they've got the Brewer Strength. So yeah. that um, 18 elite attacks on threes with crushing two, that's... It, it's worth noting that in the front, those Dracons could potentially break the Crudger on Slasher in one go. Yeah. They can definitely break a Troll Horde in one go. Yeah. And they can do a lot of damage to a, an Act Horde. Yeah. They probably won't break it, but they, they'll get it within scary wave distance. Mm-hmm. That's looking he's not going for that left flank, which I think actually is right. I think sometimes there is a temptation to think your flyer has to be going down the flanks or it's worthless. Whereas actually sometimes cut your losses and use it as that support piece. Yeah. Use it to back up your other things. You'll... An opportunity will present itself at some point. Right, okay, the so, so Tom's putting his... The arch is there. His arch is there. Mm, I don't love that. But then... Well, the thing is, if he if he puts them behind his forest shambles, what he can do is he can block that um, axe horde and probably the troll horde yeah. on this side of no, the board. No, right, actually, yeah. Cause yeah. Fact, with the angle, yeah, he's, he's looking down at potentially coming to swing around the building. Oh, maybe you won't oh, put no. them there. I like that more, I have to say. Really? I do. I think you were, you were limiting yourself by going on the flank. I think you have enough other shooting that could potentially, do, you know, all your breath and all your manoeuvrable stuff. Committing the, the archer hall there, you're committing it to the whole game. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, that's because, true. Because the wall's there, you then you need two or three turns to get into your turn rather than just that one 12 inch match at the end. This, this is the power of the shamblers, I feel here. The, the vanguard up in the trees there, they shut down that whole area for those gore riders. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's in charge. He obviously will be in charge range of the crudger, I think, but I think that's Dom won the, uh, the roll-off for first turn. 
a handshake, the good luck, have fun. And, and clock is yet over to Dom, so yeah. Yep. Got his so Dom is turn one. Oh, no. Oh, oh Tom's on turn one. <laughs> Did Dom just give Tom the first turn? I think he may have done. I think I would have taken that. Elliot's just off to, uh, to check. <laughs> yep, so that was uh, Dom won the roll off and yeah. took first turn. Uh, so yeah, Dom won the roll off, gave it to, to Tom. Whoa, that dragon has gone right the way up. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing it's out of range of everything, and uh, not. Yep. <laughs> this is what I mean, you'd be amazed the pressure Tom will put on you, turn one. Yeah. Isn't it terrifying? So, and suddenly, how, how can Dom actually advance? Because any, any way that he advances, he's going to be leaving flanks open to that dragon. Yeah. So look now, look how different the game now looks already. Yeah. Um, Plus, Tom, Tom can, can do his uh, breath attack. Yeah. Because, yeah. fucking boots of levitation. It'll be cover, but yeah, who cares? Yeah. Um, Still down, isn't it? And these dracons are now... I would have perhaps gone... There is the flying monster there. There's a the flying monster. Um, and, and also, he's in no rush. Yeah, that's true. Really. The, the forest can, can... have now shut down those gore riders completely. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is now, well, there was already a 12 inch bubble where you couldn't move. They're going to move even further. Yeah. And just present a, a huge, great bubble where you just can't enter. Yeah. And even if Dom takes that charge, obviously he's got the, got the, got uh, the dragons to deal with. In next. And potentially even the, the sea guard. Or... Yeah. All, the, all they would need to do is to pin something in place while yeah. the dragons Absolutely. finish off Completely. whatever they charge. Yeah. I mean, if, if they double charge, you would just shoot off the guard riders. Mm -hmm. You have enough shots even in cover to do that. Yeah, that's true. One thing you'll find with Tom is a bit like Rain Man. So he can do the, the odds in his head very quickly. Yeah. I think I personally, and I know a lot of people have the same thing of thinking, Oh, it's an individual. Oh, it's in cover. It will be fine. Yeah. And actually, when you do the maths, it's not fine. He also goes the other way, where a lot of people will charge them and do four or five damage and be really upset by that. Yeah. And then they go, but yeah, that was what you were expecting to get. <laughs> um, and I'm guilty of that, that it's a big dragon. It must do loads. Mm. Well, actually, a dragon on average will do six damage, and that's yeah. fine, but you just feel it should do more. It's a dragon. Yeah. And you think, well, no, that's not how it works. So this is the Noble and Chariot coming up there, so... So it's getting its uh, shots lined up. I mean, you can't see it there in the model, actually, for the Noble and Chariot, for anyone that gets confused as you go down. And actually, the old DW Wood Elves. Mm -hmm. um, Tom doesn't like the idea that Wood Elves would have chariots because they wouldn't work in trees. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a lovely model, so... So he's doing some shots onto the Hardy. This is the dragon, I believe, yeah. Yeah. He did points just now some damage is this oh maybe it's onto the trolls no onto not the, onto the yeah, it's, it's... Uh, they attack those ones aren't they yeah it's not a bad shot oh you've got to start somewhere uh, that might have disconnected sorry we're just looking at the uh... yeah we're not ignoring you <laughs> Refresh the chat now. You're going to be burning through your 4G if you're watching that. I am. Why am I doing that? Is there a way to have a look through the options, see if you can get onto a chat screen without the uh, the live preview? Carry on. I'll okay. Be, I'll be okay. Here. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Dom's bringing out his uh, templates to see where he can move to and physically fit. So, well, what we were saying about the, these are a really good idea, but I do think that sometimes Dom can get, having seen him use templates, he um, can sometimes get a bit picky with his templates and he's, he spends too much time. He can do it. He can also, I must say, overthink things. Yeah. I think there is a... With the templates, that's very easy yeah, to do as well. Um... I have seen Dom before, played Dom before, where he's checked and checked and checked something and then gone back to do the original thing I had here he had, forgetting mm -hmm. that there was a very good reason why he wasn't going to do that. Yeah. And then getting the flank charge off. Yeah. Now he checked that charge the first time, but then 
forgot, had sort of overthought himself out of the process. Mm-hmm. Um, so what he's doing there is he's trying to get out of the uh, dragon's arc with his axe horde. Ooh, we've got Australia. Mm-hmm. it grayed out. Oh. Maybe if you pause it, it might. Yeah. At least. Yeah, Elliot's currently watching the uh, the stream chat off his 4G, so that's gonna. He's got the preview of nothing the, else. I can turn the quality right. Turn down. the quality right the way down. I've got a fair amount of data. Okay. There we go. Now I've got blurry hands. I'm starting to get a few more dropped frames. Um, what we might have to do if the um, the frames do become an issue, we may have to. Uh, stop the stream temporarily while we drop the quality a little bit for the sake of internet usage. Yeah. So, hello person from Oz, President, President Crow. Crow. <laughs> so yeah, that, that um, axe horde on the right has moved forward enough that um gets out of Arca's sight of the dragon, so at least that's safe from flanking, but then what what's he do with his water and stuff? Because Pretty much wherever he goes with that. Well, he can, he can click close enough behind that it can't be charged. But the problem he's got now, of course, is by doing that... Tom can jump over his lines. He can jump over his line. He's made it so he doesn't have overlapping line of sight with his axe hold. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I think that may have been a mistake. I would have moved and turned. Tom is not going to charge a, um, a dragon to the front of that axe hold. No. Because it will die. Or well, there's an individual there that can be caught. Although the it's, it's out of our sight. Yeah. That's uh, Dom did just yeah. check that. But it, as you say, he doesn't need to, does he? He just flies over and round. And then if you're spending your entire game talking, worrying about a dragon, he can lose the whole turn just turning around. He doesn't care. Yeah. Um, he can probably angle it so he can get a breath off as well. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no reason why not. Yeah, it's got it's, it's got a double move, hasn't it? So and the boots, so it can still shoot you. Yep. So a move double hurt, still shoot. Yeah. I, and be a threat for next turn and I, I mean, Dom has to do something look, about it look at the game just when you look back at it he's got a little army pinned in a corner and he's done one oh so Dom is shuffling stuff to the side he's not advancing it, it's pinned ha, I know it's pinned but you have to just you've got to cut your losses at this point and just absorb it you've got yeah. the nerve you've got the unit you've just got to he's, he's effectively now, got to call Tom's that axe hard needs to be an inch away from that dragon or in the trees and just bump. Yeah. Everything should just be bumped. Except that you will give him nothing but front charges. I think he's a bit scared of Tom shooting. A bit too scared of Tom shooting. I, I must be honest though, Tom's laughing. <laughs> because he, he can get behind the lines now. Yeah. The only saver he's got is he's got a crudger mounted somewhere, hasn't he? Is that the one just behind that? That, that will be the one on the right. Yeah. I believe so. He, so will, he will be able to charge the dragon, but then even even if you charge a dragon with an individual, if Tom does the the angle right, then the charge would be in the flank, so it's not going to block it from. It's not. No, you're right. Yeah, it's not. I mean, you can turn it around, then you've got another chance to do it. It's but even, it's even a very difficult block. It's difficult even if block, it's yeah. in the front. Yeah, you you can still get around that individual oh, yeah, very with, very with easily. That, yeah. Oh, Tom's not moving. Tom may have forgotten to move his. Booty thumb. Movie thumb. Movie thumb. Thanks for watching, guys. Tom's now moving units. I'm a little confused what Tom's doing. Uh, so this will be turn two, won't it? Oh, that can't be turn. What is that? Any Tom's turn? Yeah, he doesn't have a duty, does he? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, he's got the fireball, but I'm guessing that's out of range. Oh, so the guard riders are just sat. <laughs> Yeah, so the Gore Riders can't advance, so Tom's controlling the game. He is. And, and yeah, so he's chosen to just sidestep rather than, which I think is the right move actually with the Crudger there. Yeah, because that Crudger could have, sw- could have swung out, grounded it, and then Dom can get in his... Yeah. Yeah, so the, if the Crudger charged the Dragon where it was, it would have been grounded there, it would have lost its fly. Um, and then if he... If he Jumps his great axe hold up in front of its face. Yeah, it can't. It's, I mean, it's locked down. This is why Tom wins every tournament he goes to. Really. Uh, he thinks that's not allowed. Is that? Yeah. Well, but also 
the, the move I would make there because I've thought of it once and now I want to do it because it might be cool. Or it could, if it works, it'll be brilliant and I'll wipe his lines. Whereas Tom's playing the long game. Yeah. It's, it's turn two. I don't need yeah, to. Yeah, it's I don't, I don't need to be behind Tom's him. already. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to be behind him. I don't need to be doing this. So, as we say, he probably could have got to that back right corner and turned in such a way the Crudger couldn't have blocked him. Mm -hmm. And then maybe he could have done this and maybe he could have done that. But there's so many maybes there. Why not just sidestep, burn something else that can't charge me? Yeah. And I take mean, your time. The, the troll hole there, and I can't see anything because of the holes in the way. Mm -hmm. All the while, you've not going to shoot it. Look at the, look at the board control that Tom has now. That's insane. I mean, we, we said, didn't we? I think in the um... yeah, we said it. We said it. We said that the board control was going to be was going to be key. Um, this is really difficult now for Dom, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yes, I think Tom would. Interestingly, sorry, President Grow. Um, so yeah, the, que one, the question is: so yeah. Are they? So, so saying, so they, 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 we're using blackjack scoring for masters, um, and the question is: If we weren't, do you think Tom would be bothering to advance? Um, for people that don't know, blackjack effectively you reward more points for how well you complete the scenario. So it's how much more in evade, for example, how much more unit strength you have over your opponent in the other. Now, there's two things at play here. One, I'm not sure Tom's read the Black Jack or Impact. <laughs> <laughs> but in also, fact, I'm, I'm pretty certain yeah. he hasn't. <laughs> Tom, I think, would play this in the exact same way anyway. Yeah. Um, Tom's a very aggressive player. He puts a lot of pressure on you very quickly and doesn't hang anything back. Now, what I found playing Tom, the best way to play Tom is relax. Because you look at this here and you think, oh my God, the game's over. And you can't carry on. Mm -hmm. Dom is in a very tough position here, but the worst thing you can do is just collapse in. But there's a lot of psychological game there, the pressure on, the everything up, oh, boom, 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 boom. So that's successful Bane chant on the Sea Guard Horde. Yeah, so this is Bane chant 2. Uh, not on the other doesn't one. Doesn't look like it now. So, yes, I, I think Tom would play a very similar game, actually, whether it was just regular. But also, with the Elves, you do have less units. You need every piece to be in play every turn. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're looking at 300 plus points for the Sea Guard, almost 300 points. Everything is very expensive. Every turn it's not doing something is a, a huge amount of points. It isn't yeah. doing something. And also, why not? Dom, yeah. Dom has deployed so far back that Tom can just shift his deployment. Yeah. <laughs> just about six inches. So these are shots going into the trolls yeah. on the left hand side. Interesting there with the Dracons that he didn't feel he needed to move them up. No. Any more than he has. Now he's shuffled. Just for just for a slight angle, but... But also, he's got that impassable there. Mm -hmm. Now there's a potential that Tom's angled them in such a way that they can fly forward and turn and block their flank from the 50mm base. Because I think they, I think he they spent would... a little while looking at that. Yeah. And they're at a, a bit of a steep angle there. They could, in theory, go straight forward and turn. Present their flank to the... Their flank to the uh, the crudger to the crudger who they can't get it because of the impassable yeah and all of a sudden go riders have to commit to the front well everything has to commit because he, yeah. he would he would have a flank even on the trolls um Tom's also very good at eyeballing things yeah he's a bugger I don't, I don't like him very much <laughs> so more two, shots two the dirt, trolls. Me, me and Tom live very close to each other <laughs> I went to school together so I'm allowed to be mean to him <laughs> I also taught him the rules, then he got better than me, so... Yeah, he's not allowed to do Definitely that. Definitely allowed to be mean about him. So, I think the thing is, even when he brings joke lists, he absolutely <laughs> destroys us. That was, that was not a joke, that list. <laughs> so the, the other week, um, Tom brought what he, he claimed was a joke list, which was um, Polearm Troop Spam. Yeah. Which I thought... Eight of them, was it? Uh, eight troops of Poland. Eight troops of Poland. Two hordes of berserkers and then stuff. Yeah, I think it was more than eight. Wasn't it might it? Be that, yeah, it was lots. more than eight. You can see um, how the Northern Kings. He, he sung about it. And it just, he just, he still tabled us, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us. In better than four. Yeah. <laughs> still four. So sorry, it's okay. So I mean, Tom's spreading the damage out, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to concentrate. No, yet. he doesn't. So. I mean, so he picks he picks passive of opportunity, which yeah. is all he can do at the moment. Because he he does have to move forward to, to start shooting at stuff, and there's line of sight issues and all the rest of it. So he doesn't have to worry too much about putting all the damage on one target at the moment. No, because he also knows that he's got the unit. So when you 
you've got the dragon fire thrower and the dragon and the I'm Sander Bear, for example, you can reliably take off units. Yeah. Especially when they've got those bits of damage on them. So he's giving himself options all across the board now. That Absolutely. Anything that presents a target that's easy or that you can't attack me back, mm -hmm. he'll just take it off. Yeah. Come on, Dom. Prove us wrong. <laughs> so this will be Dom's turn, I believe. Yep, yeah, it's re regeneration. So yeah, even if... So the... the Trolls on the oh, right hand side decent. that are behind the. Wow, that's very Wow, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're saying region 5 plus won't make a massive impact. Yep, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tom was happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. <laughs> I think we'll have to cut that, cut that and upload that for a video. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so regen yeah. quite good there. I mean, I mean it's... Yeah, but he's, he's still... I, I mean, also, just pointing out, that meant there was eight damage on those trolls. Yeah. Which is scary. Which the is what, from one from one horde, that was. One yeah. horde and the dragon, possibly. Yeah, the dragon. But, uh, but Dom's got the problem, like, if, if the right if the trolls on the right that are behind that hill, even if they ran straight forward to, to get the charge off next turn, they're going to be sat in, in the open in front of... Yeah. Um, Sorry for you. President Crow, so I can, um, <laughs> I can tell you from experience, seeing as I play Forces of Nature, Tom's face at that point is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> as, as Tom will tell you, a, a 4 plus or a 5 plus regeneration on average works about 5 sixths of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the regeneration game, I love it. <laughs> now, see, th this I like. This. Big bump forward here. Um, I think it's the right move. You, you, you... He's got to get moving. He yeah. has to get moving. Well, at this at this point in the game, he's got to get moving, or he's not going to be able to physically get over the board. Exactly. Is he? Yeah. I mean, this is his turn two. Is it? His turn two. Yeah. Again, it's a shame because that axe hard now is doing nothing except scoring points. I mean, yes, it can take out the Chamberlers. He ain't going to be getting a chariot, not speed nine and nimble. No. It's going to get away. Well, it depends It depends if Tom wants to sacrifice it to keep them on this side of the board. If, it, if but it's... Potentially, potentially, yeah. Uh, can't quite see where the halfway line might be from here. Obviously, it has to be entirely across, which is a, a big deal for those big footprints. But now he's got to measure and measure. <laughs> That's not here for the next stream I might see if I can do some graphics to show where the objectives are mm. for the next game anyway I don't want to start messing about with me no. uh, settings midstream it took me long enough to get them set up this morning so <laughs> I like that every time that they touch the table the camera wobbles a bit <laughs> we're actually in they're playing in Mantic's room yep so this is where all the decisions are made. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not Ronnie's head. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is where Ronnie communicates all the decisions yes. <laughs> that he's dreamt from now. Well, uh, it's not a it's not a seminar romantic. No, that's true. Where, yeah. where Ronnie makes up. Half this is of where the, the Mantic team decide how they're going to interpret what Ronnie said at the last <laughs> <laughs> seminar. Or Clash of Kings after having a few drinks. Now, interesting here, something. This is where I said I wasn't sure about the Finder on the big hall, but. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got... Yeah. And that'll be why he put it in the centre. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's a big block in the centre of your line, which can move through terrain, yeah. so you can have a big piece of terrain yeah, in the yeah. middle of your line. You're like, yeah, works for me. Mm. Thing is, I don't know whether he'd get cover there. Might be tricky. Depends where the shot comes from, of course. But... Yeah. Well, the, obviously the hill there as well. So you would. Because you're not on the hill either. It's not 50% on, is no, he? No. So, no. You, so you would get clever. Yeah, that's fine then. But okay, I, I don't think they're the shooting targets to be the trolls are. So I think you, you Dom can't... is doing a bit of calling Tom's bluff. He's, he's perhaps going to let the dragon get over his line. There's not much that he can do to stop that, I don't well, think. I think as well, he, Dom may be getting to the point now where he's realising that. Yeah. That you can't... You can't he can't hang back. Yeah. 
Th- this is what I would have liked but, to have seen. But he might, what he might be able to do is to cover that back line somewhat with the go riders. He might yeah. abandon the left flank because he's, he's not going to do anything with the go riders on that flank. If he abandons yeah. that flank, um, turns to his right, he can block the landing zones for the Definitely, yeah. for the dragon and force the dragon to at least charge the go riders. Yeah. But the dragon's got a good chance of taking the go riders off. They've got the but, staying stone, haven't they? They've got something for... Staying stone, yes. It's so, plus one. They're not, so what are the, are the 14, 15 of it? 14, 15. It's not high nerve, is it? It's not high nerve. It's got a good shout. It, it, it's got a good shout. I think... I think if they can... If he... It, it does, make it, it does, it does seven damage on average, that dragon on the front. can make it bad in terrain. That, yeah, you'd be doing much better, yeah. This is what I mean, though, when you're playing as Tom. You can't put your head down and you can't panic. So Dom's done here what I think he should have done, turn one. Yeah. It's aggressive. But actually, he's taken some damage for not doing it. And he's a turn behind where he wanted to be. This is this is good now. <laughs> yeah, he's getting there. And if that dragon does push forward, then Dom can keep pushing. Hmm. He's going to be taking shots. That's going to be painful. Yeah. The goals are going to be key here. You're right. Of how he how he can close down that only. Depending on the angle, he might even be able to. Um... It's interesting what the plane that has in the middle. So yeah. So the piece of terrain that is... It should be difficult terrain. That. Difficult, yeah. Because of the goals. Made by an incredible guy. I don't know if you've heard of him. Oh. Did I do it? I did it. I did it. Why, why are you making Mantic terrain? That's Matt's terrain. Oh, okay. Matt right. Gilbert's terrain. <laughs> Commissioned this set from me. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Should I should get a logo somewhere you can... <laughs> yeah, he keeps telling me that. <laughs> But what so, yeah, I read that first time it's always best not to fiddle with Nick midstream so well <laughs> goes everywhere all over his, all over, all over his shoes <laughs> I like it I'm, I'm curious whether Tom will even bother charging with the forest shamblers I would think not no sit behind the wall because Halfway line, yeah, you can't go over the halfway line. Like, can you sit by the wall, don't you? Yeah, I, I think they would, where the uh, arts would end up, they would be touching the halfway line. Yeah. They're not going to be over it, are they? No. You scoot over the chariot. In fact, if you scoot far enough, you may have a flank. Yeah. Whether you'd take that or not. I don't think you would, but... If, if, it's, if, it's an option. It's, it's, an, it's an option pressure. It's there if you... And it's more than speed nine, it can always... Oh, don't overthink it, don't. <laughs> well, in fairness, he's, he's backing off for the sake of inspiring. It's not. Yeah. Oh, oh, the casualties. <laughs> <laughs> multi base, multi base. I think we need to do a screenshot compilation of Dom's face. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you see the goals here. What's he going to do? He's got his base out in front. I it would does. not put no, them there. Don't, do don't, do, don't put them there. Pressure the centre and mid. No, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Where is the crudger? That's the important piece here. Is the crudger next to the ward in the middle? Or is the crudger uh, over crudger on the right? behind the trolls. In the middle. Now, it doesn't No, on the, on the right. Now, on I, the hill. I think the drag the 10 inches there has enough room to fly forward, turn, turn. Breath the water in one go. Um, I don't think it does have enough room. Ten inches, isn't it? And well, ten, there's a gap. So he needs. Um, ten to not. So if the the gap between the front of the trolls in the centre and the back of the water, that's um, less than six inches, then he's got enough room to do it. Yeah. But I think that is more than six inches. Yeah. And I hope that Dom has measured it to, to make sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. you could angle. You could angle very oh, slightly, yeah. go, yeah. and then you, you won't face in the right direction. Well, you could you could face the right, and then... Yeah. And still breath, and still be a pain. Yeah. But it's what it's what Dom does with the gore riders. They're going to be big here. I would angle them more than that. He needs to be covering that entire backfield, personally. Yeah. And stick him in the terrain. Because... Uh, 
you're going to be charging through terrain regard no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Notice that this light is more. What are you thinking here? You think? You guided that dragon out. Yeah. That, that's the thing. So the dragon's certainly not going to be able to jump over and face to the right mm. and do his breath. So Dom's infantry unit is going to be safe. They're going to be able to get really aggressive on the shooting units. He's going to be taking a lot of fire on the way in. A lot of fire on the way in. That's the problem. I would have been tempted to be more aggressive with the um, Great Axe Horde. Be a bit closer. Yeah. He's held back another three or four inches there, which is a, a speed five unit. That's a lot. Yeah. Um... Time. It needs to be coming all, all at once, not piecemeal. Because Tom, Tom can pick things, can delete things piecemeal. Uh, yeah, you need to, you need to overwhelm Tom. And and he can delete things in one go. That's, yeah, that's the thing that. Yeah. Alex just off to uh, to check something. I would not want to be in Dom's shoes right now, I have to say. It's, uh... Well, playing Tom, playing Tom is uh, difficult at the best of times, but that opening deployment, for me, you've got to be aggressive against Tom. You really have to. He's aggressive, you've got to be aggressive back if, you, if you're defensive. Tom does what he wants. <clears throat> A little bit of uh, discussion about angles there from the pair of them. Suddenly I find it quite difficult to commentate on this without Elliot sat here. I'm all on my own. Elliot's gone somewhere. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My problems are all gone. And we're on to turn three. So Dom has set up lots of coverage. He's even using his uh, slasher for coverage. He's, oh, he's... Really giving Tom the uh, the board control with his sorry two seconds. Really giving Tom the board control with his uh, drakens. They can do whatever they want at this point. I also have to apologise, guys, because I can't see the chat anymore because it was on Elliot's phone and I've and he's uh, taking his phone with him. I presume he's gone to take pictures. So that's given Tom complete control of that left flank now. Um, I'm not saying it's... Yeah. Tom's realised a mistake. He's left the charge open. That was silly, Dom. Oh, you've not done that, Dom. Tell me you've not left the flank open on your trolls. If those dragons are in range of those trolls, that's not good. I would say that's even potentially game losing at that point. Because he'll have lost his unit right in the centre of the board. Now it's potentially a bit of a, of a dodgy situation for Tom to charge. It's may come back to what Elliot says in terms of how safe Tom plays. He, he, he is aggressive, but he does it in a safe manner. Um, if those drakens are in flank range of the trolls in the centre, then I don't think there's anything that, he, that Dom can do to stop the, uh, the wing slasher from, get, from charging the drakens next turn. Dom may have screwed so it's returned hello Dom may have screwed up really? like really oh dear I think those trolls in the centre are mm -hmm. in charge of the drakens 
Can they see him? They're on the hill, high five. Yes, they can, over the trees. Yeah. Hmm. That, that would be very bad. That's a long 20, it is. Has Tom just checked that? Do you think? Well, Tom was doing some measuring and then Dom looked up at the camera going, ah. So, well, so Dom's made a mistake somewhere. I think yeah. that's the mistake. <laughs> um... So we have a few updates just going around. Cool. The um, so, so, uh, Rob's the missile dwarves, the golems are all dead. Oh, you um, know. The rock lobbers so far have hit four times oh. six shots <laughs> and deleted one, then the alchemist curse deleted another. Oh. Um, other than that, we're looking now, we've got some good, good balanced games. <laughs> I'm liking it. We're, um, we're, we're almost an hour in. No one's finished yet, which is a good sign. Uh-huh. Uh, I have been placed before where games are finished after an hour. <laughs> There's a few bit of weeping going on. I do think that uh, Adams, this is perhaps one of the worst matchups for for Rob. So hopefully his next game will be a little less one sided. It, it was a tough one for him. There's no, no way around that. So what's the chat been saying since I was? Uh, oh yeah, clearly not very cool. Obviously not. <laughs> Talking to self, people don't care. Yeah, well, they can't hear you. One of the others. Okay, so the forest shambles are into the trot. Oh, uh, yeah, the dragons are in the blank. That's not a good thing, is it? No. E cold. I am. There's no heating on. Play a ball well. Yeah. It's an easy one to miss, is that? Yeah. Um, Height five, throw a off. You yeah. think, you see a forest, you think, that's line of sight blocking. Yeah. Not necessarily. I do know that a lot of players are now are taking the idea of um, height six forests. Yeah. I like the idea. Um, but when you're not using it, you've got to you've got to play to what's agreed. Yeah. Um, they, they definitely all went through terrain. I watched them do it at the start of the game. Um, they agreed what everything was and what everything's height was. It's very easy to forget. It is, yeah. You know, you, as you say, you, you think forest can't be seen. Wonderful. Also, you know, I didn't eyeball that as 20 inches. No. You know, you, especially when you've got here you've got a very definite left flag mm-hmm. it's very easy to just think of one little area yeah and, just and not, not think, think of the overlap the between them. hmm so Dragon's going to the Gore Riders um is Tom moving out the double there where is this I believe it's it was second just okay there. and he's on to an obstacle can't do that I know we said we wouldn't interrupt, but... <laughs> we said we wouldn't interrupt, but... Uh, it's yeah. Tom. Yeah. It's Tom. We don't... <laughs> Possibly. Possibly you could see past him. Yeah. Um, From that yeah. angle, yeah. But probably, we are, probably yeah, could... oh, I'm assuming the two of them are playing them as, as height four. Yeah, um, we haven't specified in the back, um, but we tend to find in the UK most will play them as height four. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I actually I do quite like the idea of height six. I, I like the idea of more variety in height for terrain full stop. Absolutely. Do you remember when I ran the uh, conflict? Yeah, when I had my own terrain set and I had like height two difficult terrain. Height, height zero impassable. Yeah, it was really, really nice. It was like a, like a crevasse. Yeah, and you couldn't get through. It was just just something a bit a bit different. I did lots of lots of variety of terrain yeah. pieces. So the height too difficult. I thought was um, really interesting to to play around because it was, yeah. you had things like um, like chariots could see over the top. But yeah. but it, 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 yeah, um, a few things as well. You know, I, I like the height one difficult terrain. You know, mm-hmm. the the high cornfields and things like yeah. that. You can, you can go into is a nice way of doing it. Um, but yeah, I got the height six, and I mean, you, you could even say things are infinitely high. Yeah, I think yeah, it usually covers it. But I can't think of any situation. Only if your hill is higher. Yeah. Than than two, it would it would matter because you could in theory have a height three or four hill if, yeah. you, if you wanted a point where everything is over the board. Um, I know people every now and again asking come for more terrain rules, but actually the rules is, are there. Yeah, you just have to adjust the heights. You can use them, yeah. Exactly. There's recommended terrain and heights, but the the, the rules are already there too. This is why I was quite resistant to to standardising things like terrain heights in in the FQ, because I said, 
said at the time, if if we do that, then people are just going to stick to what's in the FAQ and what's in the map packs, mm. which they have done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I would like to do. We, do we campaign for a variety? And <laughs> well, we could start doing it all Northern King events. Yeah. Start. Change problem, it problem with that is you've got to you've got to know what the train sets is, and because we don't have our own train, no, that's true. It becomes di- it becomes yeah. difficult. building <laughs> we did say we were going to start building some we did, of our own then, sets didn't we no life got in the word we will do we will do at some point at some point might do for our our June weekend tournament yes taking place in the first weekend of June <laughs> hey picture away that's why we're yeah why we're doing this also the love of the game and, and that's that, that too yeah. don't worry I, I'm going to do a few I'm going to post some pictures as we go cool go through so for people who don't know, if anybody doesn't know, um, we are running, we have got two tournaments on the calendar at the moment. Yep. So is it the 17th, 17th of March? March, St. Patrick's Day? Yep, we have a um, a one-day tournament at Element Games in Stockport, yep. and then our big one is on the 1st and 2nd of June, which June. is the first team tournament for Kings of War that we're aware of. Uh, definitely the first in the UK. Definitely the first in the UK. Um, it's called A Tale of Three Kingdoms. Yes. Search it, or if you go on the Northern Kingdoms Facebook page, where it's on there. You'll see it there. Um, it's a, a five game, two day tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of the games you will play, uh, a few people have said, do you want to play on one big board together? You don't. You, you play one opponent, 2,000 points. Um, it's a regular game in that sense. Yeah. However, what happens is that the teams are matched against each other rather than individual players being matched against each other it's the teams matched against each other yeah. and that makes for a really interesting dynamic I think yeah and there's a there's a system in place whereby um, you've got a bit of control of who the matchups are within that team of course the shameless yeah. shameless plug shameless plug it's <laughs> happening it's got to happen yeah. <laughs> we had to buy a whole streaming kit just so we could stream the Masters so we can make this plug <laughs> so like... yeah, yeah, we, we did buy all the streaming kit for this guys <laughs> <laughs> but yeah shameless plug yeah, Aussies, come over here. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're doing this for free, so... Yes. That, that, that was our advertising, right? <laughs> That's how much we had to pay for it. Yeah, so, so the, avat- the, Plus, the cost of the no, advertising no, rights no one's was watching hotel room. <laughs> no one's watching us, we can say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some Gears Workshop products to flog. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come along. Everybody should come. It'd be brilliant. Yes. We've got a full social calendar we lined do. up for it. We've got a, a pub function room with evening meal. You don't normally get evening yeah. meals with... Yeah, uh, you get, get a hot lunch. You get, you get pie and peas on the first day. Yep. Lovely. Looking for some Sunday roasts for the second day. Oh, Yorkshire pudding wrap. We're well, hoping. Sunday roast in a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Yeah. Um, and we're doing a full buffet with chilli on the um, on the evening. Yep. Uh, we're going to have music on. We're going to have a pub quiz. Um, obviously, it's in a pub, so alcohol yep. will be available. But yeah. Uh, Blossoms in Stockport is the pub. It's nice when you won't get stabbed or anything. <laughs> Which is, you, know, you have to specify that with Stockport. It's a, selling, it's a selling point for a Stockport. So, I probably should watch the game. Yeah, let's get back to the game, shall we? Uh, this is Tom shooting here. Yeah, lots uh, of shooting. So he's going into the trolls that he didn't charged. charge, yeah. And they're gone. And they're gone. Yeah, yeah. this is. That, that's the power. I believe they were undamaged before. Yeah. Well, because the one is charging. And up. this is why he needed to, or why I feel that he should have moved the uh, the great axe up further. Because you couldn't be threatening. Yeah. Everything. And now Tom has the individual support, and he can do that again. And he can do it again. Yeah. This is the real strength, and this is what I was meaning when I said Tom would move everything forward, because you're now in a position where. Unless you're on multiple charging, you're shutting everything down in one go, he'll just take off a unit every turn. Um, it, it's going to be quite scary now, I think. Now, the dragon, yeah, I think it's fit, yeah, hasn't broken Gore Riders and shouldn't, really. He's now stuck. Especially in terrain. Yeah. But he's locked them down. Completely. Locked them down, yeah. Depending on what happens with the dragons, um, one could potentially get a. Well, he's. It's overwhelmingly likely that the Drakens will break the uh, it is. break the Tron one hit. But if they don't, then Dom has um, a rear or flank on them. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding wraps. 
And oh, it is worth getting on a boat it for. It's a roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding rolled up. It's amazing. It's the best export to come out of Yorkshire ever. <laughs> So we're yeah. going so, back against the board control. This is yeah. an example why, why we felt that Dom should be aggressive. The game is being played in Dom's corner. Completely. And this, and, this is a scenario where he needs invade, to be moving. It's invade, invade traditionally should really suit. Yeah, but they try. <laughs> nope, do It's okay, don't worry. We, we, we've vetted them. We're fine. <laughs> they've, they've been allowed to have the knowledge. Um, the, you know... I think it was a good placement there for the um, Crudger on the Slasher. Yeah. Bit of foresight, actually, that he didn't know <laughs> that the Dracons were going to bring in. But it has meant that the Dracons have had to turn and face the Crudger, at least. So they're not now looking down the whole of his lines, which would be game completely there. What would you be looking to do with the Crudger at this point? I would be tempted to go over the top. I wouldn't go for the Dracons. I, I, I definitely wouldn't go for the Dracons. It's a waste. Um, I would, there's a nice little gap maybe to the left of the shambles. I think just you have get to get fall down edge. there and then hope in the next turns. Charge go there from the look of it on the shambles. He should be able to hold there for a while. So he's just looking now. Oh, the Axe Lord does have the Brewer's Strength. Okay. I didn't realise they had that. I was just, I was just thinking. Should break in two then, rather than one. Yeah, rather than three. Yeah. But if he's if he's lucky with his rolls, he can he can do it in one. He can, as you say, it's still seven or eight hits is the problem. Yeah. It's converting two thirds of those. You know, you're looking you're looking around the five damage mark. Yeah. That's not a lot, is it? And that chariot is positioned really annoyingly, which. Um, yeah. Gives a flank for. Did that crudge a charge, or is it just... I think it's moved, but I'm not sure. So if it's moved, that's going to get a breath attack in the face next turn. I'm not sure if it was in range. If it has charged... It'd be, I think it was behind the hill, wasn't it? So it might not be able to he, see. No, he was just on the hill. Just on I the hill. Looking at, yeah, because he couldn't do the... Obviously, not allowed anymore to turn and charge on the hill. Although you can never actually physically do it. No. But people tried. People tried. <laughs> Yeah, so in the front, which is nice. The thing is, the speed on that thing, if it wanted to, it could just go whee! And shoot right past all those, it's nimble. It could do, and it could also block block them for a turn. It's 90 points, it's chaff. It's 90 points, it's, it's got four attacks, and it's, and it's shooting at you. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderous 2, melee yeah. 3 plus. Elite. It'll put a couple of points of damage on the trolls. It will, but again, it's that thing of, well, why, why bother when you can just run past and then be a nightmare? If it, if it stops... Dom get into uh, get into the archer horde. That's true. Whether they're in range they're there, I'm not sure. See if Dom had moved his great axe up there it, last turn, this would be he, very, yeah. he would have been he'd have been laughing. He would. I mean it, again he'd be that individual's powerful there though, because you charge the individual. If you don't overrun you've got the sea guard in your flank. Although he does have individuals in a tough spot. He He's not beat though. The, the thing about Tom's army, um, no, no, we're recording all of this, so I'll go up on YouTube after we're done. Just so, you know, prison crew. The um, thing about Tom's army is, it, if it loses any of its elements, it's a big loss mm -hmm. each time. Now, I don't see here how to lose any of the elements. Uh, he actually, I don't think, has lost anything yet. Tom's only lost one unit, but. It, Tom, it feels like more. <laughs> Tom, Tom will play a lot of games and lose nothing. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, Dom's lost two. The, the, two troll units. Yeah. And those games are as one-sided as that sounds. But because he has to be so conservative with everything, he doesn't really have any throwaway unit. Mm -hmm. He makes up for the chaff by just shooting your chaff off. Yeah. What about the power of the mug? Yeah, sadly, Tom doesn't have elephants in this list anyway. What 
we've been talking about with elephants. I don't remember talking about Tom's elephants. No. Really been. So the Crutcher on Center has gone into the shooting hall, so it's locked it down at least. Yeah. It's not going to break it. It's also the combat version of the shooting hall. It's also it's hindered. the Sea Guardian. Yeah. It's hindered with a burn champ. It's, he's not going to last long against it. No. Um, <laughs> but it, it could give Dom the breathing room that he needs to get up. Yeah. Got a bit of a chain going here. <laughs> so what the wardroom's doing, which a lot of people forget, is it's uh, actually charging. It does have some attacks, doesn't it? Is it three attacks it's that he's monster, got? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, I think three attacks are crushing one still because it's an arc. I think that message is half empty now. Mug. No, Mug. Oh, empty. right. Pessimistic viewer of thinking. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's about, I mean, if you look at Matt James when he plays with his war drums, um, he gives them all the loot tokens yeah. and all the counters because you have to kill everything to get to it. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's, it's like a rugby scrum. Yeah. He has the tokens at the back and everything else just moves up around it. Yep. It's a beautiful thing to see. That's, that's what I do with my uh, my Abyssals and Cronius. Is yeah. I give Cronius the loot tokens. He stands behind yeah, the line. The line. Where you're breathing once, over the top. Once you've got through the line, you've got to deal with the Cronius next. Yeah. Damage. Thank you for the pointing. <laughs> it's a decent chunk of damage then. Six damage. It is. It's, uh, it's, it's not insubstantial. There is healing in this list, I think, isn't there? There or is. Or is there not? Do, do the speakers come with healer standard? No, they don't, do they? No. And he does have drain life, so there is elements of heal. Ah, so that's what he's, do that's what he's using, isn't it? Yeah. So he's drain life in the army standard bearer. So that's put a decent chunk of damage onto the army standard bearer, which Tom wasn't counting on. Yeah. So he's got a decent chance of breaking that, that standard bearer now, he I does. think. Um, and that overrun could even go into, uh, potentially go into that um, arch horde. If he does that, I think Dom could, it would, would be in a really good position at that point. It would be a very point. big deal, yeah. Um, it would be very powerful to find out if that is in combat with that war engine. I don't think it could reach, I think it was just shy. No, I, I, th I think it was just shy. But I'm not sure. Oh! Wow. Ooh, that was unexpected. That's good. That's a big deal. That's a very big deal. So Dom's got three victory points. He does. Well, so I don't see any way that... No. Three turns... I mean, it, it, that hole now has to go off and do nothing. I mean... But it's three victory, three victory it is. points. I mean, it, it, that is, obviously, it's very good for Dom. It doesn't really change much overall because that horde after killing them two or three turns later we're still going to have to walk forward yeah it now has to walk forward I mean what do you do do you bring it right back across in which case you never get it scoring or do you just run over the board with it run over the board with it yeah get three victory points three victory points in this scenario exactly. is that, huge yeah that's what I mean by killing it there was, was big but not huge yeah because all, all you've done is speed up the inevitable yeah but still it gives you options, isn't it? That's what I mean with, with Tom's list, is that things will start to die. You might seem in a situation where you totally haven't manoeuvred a cat or anything, but they will start to die. Mm -hmm. Oh, just two damage from that crutcher and slasher. And it's fine. It's hindered, isn't it? Yeah. That's still not... That's still way on the... Uh, but it's, um... If he can overrun into that... Into that... Board, mm -hmm. Which I know it's it's a little bit of a dicey proposition, but this, this I think that's the crutcher. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so it must have got him. Oh no, oh, no. Gar Riders down on the dragon. So Vanishing the Dragon, that's quite nice. Yeah. So turn four now. Time to run quickly. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he wants to do, he's been sat there so thinking. So the wardroom didn't break the um Unless they've forgotten to do the combat. Potentially. I didn't see them do it. No. I can't go in really and tell them. That's, that's for them to watch, isn't it? That's, They'll not, remember it, at some point. It's not, it's not against the rules to do it. <laughs> so it's to, to not do a combat. So it's, um, it's not really fair, is it, to go and 
Um, they, they may have done it to be fair. They, they, have, they have to do the combat by rules, but if you forget it, you forget it. But yeah. um, they will remember. So when he gets to the part where he hasn't bounced. The individual should have bounced back. Yeah. Just seeing there now whether they're in really actually hot. Oh. Must have done it, I think it's Tom's not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just point out there anyone that, that doesn't realise the reason Tom's individual bounces is because Dom has put one of his own units behind the wardrobe, meaning that it can't bounce the inch, so the unit you're fighting has to bounce instead. Absolutely. Very powerful little ability is that. Didn't have a wild effect there, but in some games can be massive. Can completely swing how you're doing. You can push things off objectives and keep mm -hmm. them in the right side of the board. It's a, it's a very useful little trick to know. Those dragons are a pain now. Yeah. They are, because they completely dictate what that great axe hard can do now. Yep. Well, I say moving that, that crutcher and slasher so that it's facing down rather than charging into um, the sea guard hard. Oh look, he's doing, he's doing what I said. Mm. Going straight past. Yeah, because why not? In yeah. a situation, you know, you, you, you know you're going to lose you, it. You know use up there, you know use anywhere else. You might end up being a use down there. And this is what I mean about you don't feel you have to make your tool just because you've got it there. Yeah. Um, Throw down there, it's now scoring. It's mm -hmm. unit strength, it's just plus one, which is a big deal in Tom's list. It doesn't have all that much unit strength. Um, and also now an opportunity will present itself. Yeah. This is only turn four, is it? Yeah. So it feels like it should be much, much later yeah. into the game. I believe we've got 50 minutes left of the round. And they've got 22 minutes and 24 minutes on the clock. Excellent. So spot on. Shahal. Yeah, so shuffle just out of range of the Great Axe Hall. Yeah. I mean, the wardrobe will shut you down. You can't stop that now, but I mean, you can shoot at it. Fish if he takes out the, uh, the wardrobe, yeah. And the crudger behind it. You don't have all that much shooting to do it with now, but... I'm not sure how Dom's going to get that close though, because those dragons. Yeah, exactly. It comes down to. It does. The... Yeah. There's, there's no way of. Yeah. I mean, interestingly here, this is where it will show now if Tom has read the Blackjack pack. Because um, the Forest Shamblers and the Chariot could win this game alone now. Oh, actually, the hard is up there, so you can't yeah. do that. So you have to keep something down here. So the dragon, for example, has to stay down here. Yeah. Um, Either way, you take the win. You don't, you don't yeah. risk it. You know, take take your fourteen points. Well, I suspect, I strongly suspect that the um, the gore rider is going to vanish this turn. It's now been flanked by. Yeah, at, the, at that point, that. I think I would keep the dragons on this half of the board of Jack and send the dragon off to do yeah. what they're doing at the moment. Well, the dragons, are, the dragons are scoring here, aren't they? And yeah. you can score on almost everything. You can, yeah. can threaten with them this turn. Turn the dragon. Mm -hmm. That's going to threaten as well. But then next turn you can use the dragon to yeah. threaten rather than the dragons Definitely, and keep yeah. the dragons dragons on this side of the board. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're the two units as well, aren't they? Yeah. Four point six percent dropped frames overall, that's not too bad. Who is he shooting at them? Is he pointing at a few different things? Seems to be picking up the fives. So some, oh, he moved across. So, that's all good. On the wardrum, I believe. Yeah. It's five or six damage. It was only four. What's the wardrum's nerves? <laughs> it tends to... Yeah, another, another dumb cheer there. Oh. 
Did it survive? It survived. Excellent. So you can shut down the arch hard this time at least. It could even potentially get a flank on the uh, C card. It could. I'm not sure that would be the better ch We've got the individual though, so you could do both. Well... Actually, yeah, that probably would be the better choice then. If you did that, the Kudger potentially... I the must have gone into the Wellington side. Because otherwise... No, the Kudger, sorry, I'm talking about the Kudger on Slash. No, sorry, but the, but the oh. because the Dragon Fire Thread didn't seem to shoot. Right, so the damage yeah. didn't and break. Yeah, there seems to be a damage behind it. Yeah. So the Kudger on Slasher, mm. if, if Dom uses the wardrobe to shut down the uh, Sea Guard Horde, the Kudger on Slash. Shouldn't have broken it, they haven't broken the um, Kudger. No. Even, even though it's um, not got nimble, it can still be at 90 degrees and move 10 inches. That might be enough to get out of their arc of sight. Yeah. And then you've got that unit saved. Because where it is at the moment, it's, it's going to die to the, yeah, uh, it is. To the dragon. And, and you're not going to kill the Sea Guard. Yeah. Draw Rider's dead, as we sort of would expect. Yeah. Oops, sleeves are up. Serious now. <laughs> so this is Dom's turn four, bottom of four. Yeah. I think those shots on the right might be in range of that um, dragon breath. Yeah, they're in its funk as well, which is interesting. It's not individual, so they couldn't overrun, unfortunately. No, but they'll put you in a nice position. Yeah, very nice position. And the crutch can go into the, the, the hall to shut that mm. down. And the water on, Definitely. pretty sure, can go into the flank of the sea guard. And that's mm. his, that's what he shoot, shut down for a turn. I mean, he's just looking at, I believe, the walls are also in range of the archers. I'm not sure that's the better charge, though. That would leave them very exposed to uh, to the dragons. Because I'm fairly certain the Great Axe is in range because Tom will back out. Yeah. Mm. No, you wouldn't be able to do that, Dom. No. Because mm. he has to move one first. Yeah, and then you maximise to the facing you're in. Yeah, and the trolls won't be able to get in there. I'm about to do that. We may have to go intervene. Yeah, we may have to intervene if that's if he tries that. I'm sure Tom will pick pick up on it. Yeah, that's what you do. You do a first time. No. <laughs> There's a lot of people who don't yeah. don't know that though, so they may. <laughs> Elliot's gone off to uh Well the uh, thing is I think Dom's gonna do quite a bit of, quite a bit of damage this turn, President Crow. I think it, it's it's gonna be a deciding turn this one as to what da what damage Dom does where he ends up at the end of it. Might be a mistake. You may open yourself up to a flank afterwards. No, that should be okay. Don't send the wardrobe into the shooter horde. That's what your mistake is. That's what's blocking him. No, no! Oh. Hit the flank of the sea guard. If he hits the flank of the sea guard, he shuts both holes down anyway. And that slasher can potentially move off. I'm sure his options would be a lot better. The two floors are going to be very hard to combat, yes. Um, however, what works in Dom's favour is that 
Uh, Tom needs them for scoring purposes. Tom, Tom needs them. On that side of the board. Hang on. Door's been left open. I'm not the camera. I'm not the camera. David. Sorry. They're just in the next room. I'm not sure if they can actually hear us with the door open. I don't want to risk it. Um, so Tom needs the flyers on Dom's half of the board for the, for the sake of the scenario. Now, if... Um, if he moves them off to combat Dom's units, he's not using them for scoring. So that does play into Dom's favour, and if he can... Oh, you went to get food, did you? Hmm? Went to get food, did you? Went to go for shut the tables. Ah. Also finished. I might do that in a second. Mm -hmm. So just talking through that, um... The flyers are going to be very difficult for Dom to deal with, regardless at this point. But what I was saying is, Tom needs them on this half of the board for the for the sake of point scoring. And if he moves off to try and combat Dom, mm -hmm. he'll probably win, but he might not. Yeah. And if he doesn't win, he potentially losing the game. Definitely. So did the Charles charge the jump fire thrower? Uh, I'm not sure which way around his event. He's finally done things. Um, yes, I've been taking pictures of all the games as we go around, so I'm going to post them up in between each round. Matt Gilbert is asking how it's going. Mm -hmm. This is fine. <laughs> he said that we get to see some uh, tasty new sculpts mm. that we're not allowed to show on stream or show any photos Ooh. of. Tiny. Mm. So who's doing what then, Dom? No, not yet. We just had one game finish. Um, it didn't go well for <laughs> Rob. I don't think. The, um... From the sounds of it, the goblins have annihilated the Ubisoft other lords. Ah, Dom, um, what you call it? The spell on. Oh, Dream Life? Yep. It's tricky here. It's. I like the wardrobe in the. Um, there, so where did the Crudger go? The Malzard one? Uh, he went into the flank of the Arch, the arch Horde. Oh, sorry, oh, it was a Godspeaker, Malzard Godspeaker, wasn't it, behind the wardrobe? Yes. Where did he go? He'll be some hiding. Oh, he he went behind yeah. the hard tier so he's... I, I was thinking he was could have shut shut down the other hard or while the um, wardrobe flanked the sea guard. I mean, we can't forget about the sea guard. I was saying about unit strength and he needs them, but actually, it's not going to be long before they get through that crudger. Um, there is that point. But then, if they advance much further forward, he's going to have a flank with his hard. Yeah. It's positioning. But they're nimble. Yeah. So they could go 12 and turn. And then if you want to come back. True. To take it, you're doing it right in the deployment zone again. True. And they can shoot. Oh, they can't. They can't shoot. Oh, this looks like a better roll for the creature. Got seven or eight damage there. I can see what it should be. Not going to do this hand. Looks fine. Not enough to break, unfortunately. But then next turn, that creature is in a lot of trouble. It's worth saying there's not. Any inspiring, I think, they're about, is it? Uh, these units behind the Archer Horde is in, that's inspiring, is it? No. no it was this, oh, no, it's not Sorry, so yeah, behind there. Right. But whether he's in range of the Sea Guard, I'm not sure. Okay, turn five. So Tom's five. Obviously, countering back into the Bridger and back into the Wardrum. Yeah, chariot spins around. I'm just Looks menacingly for next time. Yeah. All of a sudden, that chariot becomes a decent threat. A Twelve a attacks worth of attacks in the, yeah. in the rear, which is not what you like. Um, I mean, that plus the dracons will probably take the horde in one go. Potentially. I think I'd say that's a bit dicey. Was it eight, seven, or eight damage from the rear? Is that dragon in the flank of the Twelve from the front horde. I could do it. You're looking at about 12 damage. But, but we are talking about Tom, who doesn't take chances. 
He doesn't, but we have it. Okay, fine. But fine. he's going to the front. Um, but I think he's in the dragon in as well. Is it in the flank? Is that right or... No, it's in the front. I don't think they checked. I thought that was in... Look at this. Maggots. Maggots <laughs> for the win. Um, I think he may have checked. did a lot of positioning there. Right. Ooh. Well, the wheel line, I think, actually might be there, which actually, I don't dislike that. Because then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because then you, you free that, you know. Yeah. The Dracons, I think, do a bit of damage in the front there. They normally hit about 14 times, and then it's two times because they're pushing yeah. through, effectively, here. That's a lot, isn't it? To yeah. damage. Dragon picks another six on. They've already got damage on them from all the shooting. I've always been healing yeah. bits back. It's not going to be a big roll needed, I think. I'll smack you back a little <laughs> Showing your rear to the wardroom is an interesting choice. The wardroom can just swing a 90 degree turn there. Although it is quite badly damaged and it's going to get breathed. Yeah. Attacked. Um, mustn't forget here as well, Tarn's heal 10 in this list. Ooh. So in fact this is heal here. Yeah, there we are. So that was heal 6. And heal again. Not a bit chat here. No. He really fails it. Okay. He is getting reared by... Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to matter. No. The heal is a big deal here. When you're chipping through that damage, so you're yeah. finally getting somewhere, and then five it six points disappear, and Wardroom taking some damage. That's enough. Yeah. And it's gone. Oh. Oh, Dom. Interesting, Dom didn't seem is hoping mm. that's not going to go back to bite him. He is sat on a wall there. I don't know where the halfway line is. With two turns left. I'm but not... he, he could have been safely on the other side President of the wall. If you're talking about the dragon, I'm not sure if it was a flag. It did look from this angle, but Dom did spend a lot of time figuring out that angle, so I don't think it was, but Tom may have missed it if it was. I'm not we sure. Should, we should to. say we've not quite got a perfect overhead here. It's slightly yeah. angled. And they've knocked the camera at some point, yes. haven't they? Yeah, we may have to go readjust the ground. I'm not sure it will matter in the flank, to be honest. I do think that front charge can break it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fact that it had been damaged and stuff with the, with the dragon as well, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. It's inspired. The Gospel Week is behind it with the inspiring talisman. No wardrum. No wardroom, and that's cool. Oh, no, there's, there is a wardroom there. One wardroom. Oh, yeah. Is he in Rosa? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Probably. Dragon, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think the dragon was in the flight. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Yeah. Crud broke, expected. Yeah, which is a big deal. Uh, yeah, Dom's, Dom's playing for uh, what he can now, isn't he? He is. Unfortunately, it is. I mean, it's. That uh, nice I mean, thing with the half line is you just step up with those sea guard and you're shooting as well. Yeah. Is there anything like a shooter? So this is Dracons, I believe, into the. That's a lot of hits. Plus, also. that's all hit. Is that oh, all hit? Oh, that's a lot. Of... Um, what's that? No, there's a hit on fives. Oh, it's the Archers. Archers. <laughs> <laughs> Archers wasn't, did you get damage at all? No, I don't think it was doing. Right, this is the Dracons. There's twos. You can see some twos. There's not many that are there. Yeah, it's a good amount. Just point out that we're two rooms away. I can hear Dunking from here. <laughs> uh, so that is eight. Eight damage. It's quite a bit of average, actually. Drop more than he would like, I think. Elite rolls. Oh, dragon dropping two there as well. Yeah, dragon only getting five hits. <laughs> yeah, I can hit that as well. <laughs> How much damage they were rolling no, to don't. begin with? That's a good nerve roll. So is that. He's looking around. What can he find? What can he see? No. 
Oh, it's gone. Oh, it is that, that must have been close then for him to... It is that moment where you all look around and go, what have I got? Is there anything? Show there's something. Oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, actually, that was under average was the rules there. And yeah. I kind of thought average rules should do it, but that that's unfortunate for Dom. They were good nerve rolls, they were. They were I, I don't know what he needed. It must have been close to that. No, yeah, were. the second one was an eight, wasn't it? It was a nine I mean, and an eight. Actually, Wavy there wouldn't have been the end of the world. No. Tom could have his eye on the other hordes. <laughs> yeah, he is. Whether he's got the tools, I think, to do it, I'm not sure. That's that's why I would have just sent that horde running across the across the halfway point. No, yeah, I'm not sure why that horde's still there, and it may have been forgotten about. Yeah, um, because I, I, I wouldn't have turned it actually. Interestingly, when he first turned it to look at the chariot, I thought that was a mistake. The chariot was never going to be there the next turn. It does force the chariot to move, but you can see it still. You can see the chariot. And he turned it to. It doesn't. It doesn't change how Don moves next. Time because he's on top of an obstacle, he can't move out the double, no. so he would have still been moving. No, that's true, actually, you're right. Yeah. Doing a standard I was move. now checking that jack for the first yeah. time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasn't exaggerating when I said Tom hasn't read Black <laughs> There's not much that uh, Tom can do now, unfortunately. Yeah, he's, he's very careful. Of Put them in the front as well of those um, dragons. There. Yeah, I don't think he can, he can even reach the dragons. Potentially a bit of a corkscrew kind of charge, but I doubt it. See, if that horde had been moving a turn earlier, it would have been way out of reach of that dragon. Yeah, but because it's still stuck there, he can't. And I don't think he's on the hand line there, scoring anything. No, is it? You know, with the the pack here, uh, it matters if you've just got one unit to pass yourself. It's on difference of unit strength, isn't it? I thought it is. I don't know if difference of one matters. You've not got it. Let's see if I can bring it up. It's just looking for the pack. He's just rifling through Matt Gilbert's desk at the moment. A lot of porn in here. There is. A lot of porn. Uh, where is it then? I'll be in the master's group, won't it? Well, Dom's got 12 minutes left on his clock. So we can think about this. I mean, you've got to be in damage limitation here, haven't you? For what you yeah. can, you've just got to try and kill something. Um, Finish stuff off and get the points for it. The archer horde is damaged. Maybe go for that rather than trying to go for dragons. So the three victory points for the horde, mm -hmm. if that can be on the other half of the board, then that will uh, that can make a plus or minus one difference. Okay, so so it is definitely worth... It's, it's worth on getting that across the... Yeah. It, but the thing is, it's tricky for now. Yeah. Because yeah. trying to get across that board now means exposing himself to flanks and rears. Yeah. If he'd have been going, if he'd have set off the previous turn, yeah. he could have been safely yeah, across the... I mean, there's a forest there, isn't there? Yeah. So he could be turned around in a forest, laughing. Yeah. Okay. Well, not laughing, but yeah. I've got a victory yeah. point. So Crunchy is charging the flank of the dragon. Mm -hmm. The right turn, so hindered over the wall. Um, but stopping shooting, stopping attention to the charge. Yeah. Tom isn't going to go to the front of that reactor with the dragon. Well, it's not going to stop the charge, but it's going to... But it, um, it stops the shooting, it stops the flying. Yeah. Uh, it just... It's going to be hindered if it charges. Morning, legit box gaming. From America. America. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you. I've got the first results in. Oh. <laughs> oh, we have more than a few. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dom and Tom. If you want to see, you can do. Oh, is it not uh, mic'd up? It's mic'd up. Hello, hello. So we've just got Matt joining us. Mr. Rolls Committee. Uh, Dom is in a tricky position. 
It looks like there's still orcs on the table though, so that's a positive for him. It is a positive. They're in the wrong side of the table. Okay, that's a negative. Yeah. <laughs> um, has Tom lost anything this, yet? This here is Tom's deployment line. Uh, no. Um... <laughs> What's uh, Dom's deployment say? This side. Okay. Bottom, bottom half. How did he deploy? Uh, Along the back edge. Back well, he's done well to get where he is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, uh, is that orcs in the middle there? Those are, those are trolls in the middle. Trolls. What, what is... That's an actual horde. Oh, that's okay. a dragon horde. I was looking at that as an orc horde and thinking that no. looks really good for Dom. No, that's an orc horde. Yeah, that's getting in his off Tom's top of the table. It is, but he could he I think that he forgot them last time. Could have been oh, up here. Oh, what you're doing, man? What you doing? Uh, that take it one of these is Dom Slasher. Nope. That's Tom's dragon. And... That's Tom's dragon. That's his dragons. Yeah, this isn't looking good for Dom. The audio is skipping. Is it? Bother. Possibly that. Um, okay, what I'll have to do for the next game is reduce the quality a bit, um, and it should stream a bit better. Sorry for the, for the choppy audio. Um, I'll drop the quality down a bit next for the next game. But to change it now, we have to take the stream offline. So I won't do that, because we're working on wrapping up at the moment. Yeah, Tom's about to take Dom offline, I think. Uh, I think so. It is Dom's turn. I'd like to see how uh, Ian Sturgis and um, Ed's game's going. I'm really interested. I'd, I'd be really interested to, to watch that game. Unfortunately, Dom just didn't, didn't have the, uh, the board control. I do think there's merit to deploying 30 on against Gunline, because you can make it, depending on, not in this scenario, but in other scenarios, yeah, in this... if you say, right, I'm making it a four-turn game, yeah, and, we, and that's what we're playing, I think there's, there is merit to that. Um, but it is scenario dependent. It does yeah. depend what tools you've got in your list. Maybe Don't have tooled up for that particular approach. And he gave Tom first turn, and Tom just went, whoop. Just marched everything forward. Yeah. And just threatened everything with flyers. So in terms of the audio, guys, uh, we are running through 4G. I'm showing at 15 frames a second at the moment, and we're showing at a small drop of about 3 or 4 percent. <laughs> Before you arrive at the US Masters. Um, I am run, running at the upper limit of stream quality that, Ma that Mantic recommended, so what I can do is I can drop the overall picture quality for the next game, and that should reduce the uh, any lag and any skipping. But I can't do that at the moment, I'd have to take the stream offline. Oh, President Crow. <laughs> We just didn't care about the colonies. No, nobody cares about America. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've been uh, going over there and we've been winning their tournaments, so... Yeah. I think they still have some things to learn from us. Well, I think so you can learn more than a few things, but uh, there we go. So Tom was able to move at the double first turn, was he, with, with both Archer Hoods? Uh, yeah. Ah, that's, that's where... They... He might not have been able to for the sake of uh, terrain, but yes. yeah. he, he had the freedom to do that. But his, his dragons and dragon were... Just start running stuff straight away, yeah. His, his dragon moved right up to this forest here, and then Dom was like, I can't move forward because it's just going to... over the top of me.
still put the Queen on their uh, currency. They're still a colony, even though they might not uh, think they are. Who are we talking about now? Australia? Yeah. Mm. Still a colony, they're just pretending not to. Still seven <laughs> neighbours and Paul Hogan. <laughs> nice. Well, the good news is no one's got for Rob Harris anymore, so... Where is that? Elitist men claim to fame is down the drain as well. <laughs> Oh dear. I remember when uh, Savile died and Leeds basically turned into a funeral city for a couple of days. Oh, really? It was, the whole city was. Oh my god. And then a year later it was like, <laughs> whoops! What, what have we done? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, that's yours. Yeah. Nano? What do you want? So, I've just had a fantastic game with uh, Chris Coburn. Um, managed to sneak a win in the last turn. Okay. Um, total bloodbath. Yep. Total and a, you know, a, a mutually assured destruction on both sides. Yep. Orcs. Yep. Just pull the door to you, sorry. Orcs. 1700 kills and 1300 kills. Yep. Ooh, what, what um, he had just uh, a couple of warlocks left at the end. <laughs> One of which was in my half of the table. Yep. Um, I had a unit of gore riders. Right at the side of the table, but I had Gakamak, he was still, you know, a lot of points yeah. um, doing most of the damage. Yeah. Um, and I had another unit of Gore Riders. If it had gone turn seven, I probably would have put one of the Warlocks um, with Gore Riders and Gak. Um, but a total buff, really good game. Um, moments where I thought I'd lost, you know, yeah. one of those really enjoyable games where you think, yeah, it's, it's swung oh, back oh, and oh, forth. I'm, the whole I'm done for it, I'm done for Oh, no, there's some hope. Um, <laughs> You know, he he will confess he made a couple of mistakes. Um, so he gave me a flank charge with the quadrant wing slasher, um, which you know he he couldn't have really helped because he had to go and charge another unit and wherever he reformed to, he was going to get flanked by someone. But I thought, think he overlooked the um, quadrant wing slasher. Um, but I actually put my Codron Wing Slasher in a bad position once I'd killed mm -hmm. um, that because he got flank charged by shooters. Um, it, was yeah. a it was a choice of to take flank charge off shooters or take a rear off of Grokham up. I thought hindered shooters might not kill him, <laughs> but they did. Oh. Um, so yeah, yeah, really good fun game. One thing he did do that um, sort of surprised me was he had a uh, Red Goblin Blaster in my half of the table, obviously, it's a point of view strength for playing invade I thought there's no way he's going to blow that up and he, he did it for the sake of a crusher for a crusher because um, the crusher was in like a position where he could have been a right pain in the backside later on in the game mm. but there was nothing else on that like flank of the table and he, and he popped it uh, to get the crusher and that was, that's obviously cost him the win um, Ooh, oh, it's, not, that it's, it's not cost him the win it would have been a draw but right. um, only went six turns if it had gone uh, the, the seventh I would have moved other unit gore riders into yeah. his off the table as well and got myself a few more points but yeah um did you know that i made a couple of mistakes as well more? uh i spotted it and went well blow it i was like go on blow it out, blow it out, blow it out, blow it out. <laughs> yes he's done it he's blown himself up <laughs> um so yeah um it, di it didn't go it didn't, that that particular one didn't work out for him but yeah it was a really good game um, i made a couple of mistakes as well i put that into my late night drinking and um Sorry? Just in general. Just in general, yeah. Just, just the uh, accumulated effects of it over Christmas and New Year. Um, having a few weeks off work and just spending most of it with a bottle of whiskey in my hand was, um, you know, it's, it's affected my game, I think. So. Uh, it's a step up from your bottle of vodka that you're not allowed to have. So. Uh, is it vodka? When do I normally have vodka? When was that? <laughs> I might generally drink it with it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I'm sat at home on Universal Battle, I need to like yeah. tell my opponent the shop's going to close in a minute. I need to go and back and get whiskey. So yeah, um, you can have to hang on a moment. Some of us will have finished the turn by the time you're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that particular game is in the middle of the afternoon, um, and I was going to get food. So uh, yes. 
That one was fine. Uh, a particular favourite um, of mine is to have uh, a couple of shots of Disarena over ice in a glass with a couple of shots of some nice Scotch whiskey. Um, that goes down a tree. I don't think you like that, Nick. I fed it to you one time. No. Me and Dan liked it, but you weren't so keen. Oh, that was... That was a good night. That, that was, was the good... night before the tournament, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that was I... before South West Clash 1. South West Clash 2. So... South West Clash 2, 27, 28th of July, or the 28th, 20th. Last weekend of July. No, 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 no. You don't get to uh, pitch your events on the live stream. No, where no, where no, can no, you... No, I'm going. <laughs> where, I'm going. All the other king's going to be there. Elliot, what's hey, Kyle. Uh, let, let, let's not say Mrs. Pug by tournament. Let's simply ask, Elliot, what are you doing in July? Oh, well, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Bristol. <laughs> of all places. No, we'll plug anything. Anyone got anything to plug? <laughs> Is that a George? Oh, it's turn six now in two. It's Tom's turn. So how much unit strength has Tom actually got in Dom's half of the table? Because I'm wondering whether this is going to be a 21 or whether... I don't think he's going to be a 21, so Tom's dropping points here. He is. I, I think he's going too much for the kill. He's playing it too much like a kill. Um, I don't think that Seaguard horde is on the other half. That troop of... Uh, that's Forest Shamblers, then? So Regiment Forest Shamblers, yeah. yeah. He's got that, he's got the chariot, he's got the dragon. I don't think those units there are... Holy in. Holy in. They might be, they might just be. But I don't think that they are. So yeah, he I think he should be coming more on unit strength. For the big big win in blackjack. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean the thing is, alright, Tom's probably gonna win most of his games, if not all of his games here this weekend, but if people can just take a few points off of him every round, yep. um it so could potentially, you know, le leapfrog him. Um there's a couple of um couple of tournaments um, so a couple of, couple of uh, lists here at this tournament that um, are actually a threat to Tom. Mm. We were saying in the, in the preview, I think, um, yeah, there we go. President Joe Green with this, that he should push more into the scoring zone for, for Gosh Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not quite sure where the halfway line is. He may be there. And if he is, he's fine. But if he is sacrificing unit strength for the sake of attrition, I think that's a mistake. I mean, he's got the pack open in front of him, so he's he must be looking at it. Mm. The other thing that he has to look at here is obviously Dom's got a unit strength to be troll horde, um, which he's sort of straddling the centre line at the moment. So it may be a case of either deal with that or I'm giving Dom three points of, of something, which is, Potentially. Which, is equal, which is equally as bad in terms of um, blackjack scoring. So it may be a case that the uh, dealing with the troll horde is lesser of two evils here. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the troll horde is only worth 190 points, so it's not going to affect attrition massively. Um, but might, it, might be, it might if be that bracket, troll but... horde's got a chance of scoring, it needs to get rid of it. It, it would struggle to break that archer horde. Dom has to roll really well, but he could do it. But now, if, if Dom counter charge, so Tom's bounced. Oh. Tom's bounced. So now, if Dom counter charges that Seaguard horde, he, that will take him into the other. The, the, the scoring zone. So yep. Dom will be looking at unit strength six in that half of the board. Um, so it could actually be quite tough because Tom's got the three for the uh, yeah, yeah. For, for the archer at the back. He's got That's two for the uh, and he's got one two for the uh, for the for the dragon. Um, so Tom might only actually win this by unit strength, depending on whether we get seven turns and, and uh, you know that sort of um, that sort of thing going on. It is hard to see what else Dom's got left on the table. I can't see any drums or anything like that. Definitely for the next round, I need to see where the actual uh, objective zones are for the stream. I think that wall might be the halfway point. So he might, he might still not be quite.
So why did they put that unit back? Oh. What's Dom up to? It looked like there was a conversation between him and Tom. Mm-hmm. Unless Tom's... Unless... Is that Drakens in the Trolls as well? What? Okay, that actually might be a smart move. Um, here's why I think that might be a smart move. If that brings Dom into the, his half of the table anyway, and I know he's got the healing god speaker there, um, he could get those trolls back up to fresh um, to, to freshness. What is the um, a larger cavalry god there? Is that, uh, that's dragons, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what you're looking at now is um, the sea guard will be coming over that wall hindered. I don't know how much damage the trolls are on. Um, he's not giving away any flanks. If those are fresh trolls, and he's got something that can block or disorder that Draken Rider horde to stop it flying. Then, but then that or, or if it turns six, it is two. Game may end. So I think he's worried that if he goes back into the Sea Guard, he's going to give away a flank with the trolls, and the Drakens will then take the trolls out in conjunction with the Sea Guard. Mm. Even that, would that be a bad play? Because then Tom's potentially bringing, taking the Sea Guard out of Dom's half of the table. Uh, not the Sea Guard, the Dragon Riders, taking them out of yeah. Dom's half of the board. Uh, and it depends where the halfway line is. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we really halfway. can't see where the halfway line is. Especially because um, they've knocked the camera and it's... But do you know what? I think, oh, oh, that's game. That's game. I've got to see. I've got to see. I've got to see. So... Nick is going to. I'll hold the fort here a moment, guys. Um, Nick has just gone to find out what the final scores were. Looking at it, I think that's the win. Dom, I can only see in unit strength six in Tom's half of the board. I think uh, Tom has a chariot, a dragon, uh, dragon riders for four, plus another two for the. Yeah, Tom's got it. Halfway line is through those trolls. It's through those trolls. So yeah, I would have charged the. I would have charged. Trolls. Yeah, yeah. Because that would have put it put it onto Tom's half of the table. That's plus one. Yep, yep. So Dom costing himself a few victory points there. Um, Potentially win. No, because Tom's got three, four, five, dragon six, chariot seven. Eight, nine, they, I don't think they're on. They're entirely they might on not because be the, the okay, line was through okay. the troll. So it would have been oh, two, so four, five, six. So it could have been a draw. I think it could have been a draw if he'd have charged. Wow. And if he'd, if he'd have broken, it, it would actually roll well. But if he'd have broken that, sea god, yeah, yeah, then it's a bit attrition. Well. It's uh, Godspeed had trade life, so that could have been an extra, a few extra points of damage. Mm. It could have added up and been enough. I can't see how many damage the Sea Guard are actually on there. Um, about five, I think. About five, so you're probably looking at the trolls doing another eight or so, maybe. Another, another three from. Seven, eight damage, another three from Drain Life. It's not undoable. No. Wow. So it's the good news for you Americans uh, listening and watching in is Dom's coming over there, so based on this performance, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, you, you'll be fine. Any more back chat in the, in the, uh, the chat, and we'll send Tom instead. <laughs> right, uh, I think we're going to end the game one stream there, cheers guys. Bye-bye. All right, cheers, Matt. So we're going to end the game one stream there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. For the next one, what? I'll drop the video quality down a bit so that the audio improves somewhat. Um, when's the next one starting? Uh, half past one. It is now 12.10. So an hour and 20 minutes from now. Those guys are over here. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in a little over an hour, guys.